What's good everybody? It's your boy with the tree and the OKC Chris with a K back with another video. I'm chilling at work right now. If you're the person with the tree where you be in your city or state, give this video a thumbs up so that way you know we're making content over here. Subscribe, hit that notification, all that good jazz. I got one more shameless plug. Bow! Follow the Instagram right here so you always stay up to date with all the dope shit that we're doing. But today's video, man, shout out to my boy Tim. Tim reached out to me and asked me a question. He asked, I'm going to go ahead and throw it up here so y'all can kind of see it too, but he basically said that he's stationed, uh, he's in the Air Force station in the Netherlands, about to get out, and he wants to be a manager of a dispenser, and he wants to know what it's like. So uh, first of all, he asked what it's like, like, what's it actually like daily, weekly, quarterly, and yearly? Um, that was the first question. I also have Brittany, make it 10. She's one of the other managers here uh, at the store. So uh, we're going to get her feedback as well. Uh, but like really, so for the first question, he said what it's like to be a manager of a dispenser. It's fucking dope. It is. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's dope as fuck. Like it's, it's, it has its own unique set of stressors. So like coming from the military, it, it ain't shit. Okay? It really isn't. Like, not because everything that you do, you're worried about yourself. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, Brittany gives a fuck about what I do, but like, if I fuck up, Brittany's like, who? He fucked up. Like, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's on me. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in the military, if, if somebody fucks up, it's a reflection of you type shit. You don't have to worry about that. But this job is dope. It is. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely interesting as well on a day to day basis. <laughs> the, the walks of life. Yes the different characters or Absolutely. people. Absolutely. The different stories we hear. It's all very fun and interesting. Yes, yes. <laughs> like it's 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 a lot of fun. Crazy stuff happens too though, bro. Like we've had we have a bridge outside. People try to jump up. We have a lot of homeless people that like are like in the area and and so like they are on drugs and stuff like that and they they be getting ready to jump off this bridge and they be out there panhandling, and it's right, it's right outside, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, I mean, it's like that in every city. It's just this little area. We got some motels, like, in the near vicinity. It's crazy. But, yeah, so <laughs> that's a struggle. Yes, <laughs> that's a struggle. struggle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for sure. And then um, he also said, let's see, inventory. So, like, what is inventory like? But if, if you can, if you worked at any store that has products, that's it's what it's pretty like. pretty much basic basic inventory things come in on a daily and we just put it up put it out that's it. all it is <clears throat> so if you're you manage you say you manage a, a multi-million dollar armory you can do this, this is gonna be a piece of cake you are gonna love it yeah the way you have to track them weapons is is the way that you track bud is exactly how you track them weapons i'm not even playing because i was in the medical field and we did i did medical records it's the exact same way it's you got to know where everything is from the moment you get ready to receive it until you send it out the door and then you don't give a fuck about it no more because it's gone <clears throat> and let's see what can you do to stand out in an interview be yourself definitely be yourself just bring whatever knowledge you have to the table because that's what everybody's looking for yeah because if you be fake within a few like months or weeks you're gonna get fired because like it's a it's a close knit thing you have to fit you have oh. to it, it's it's really it depends the market you know what i'm saying you could you could be in a market where your dispensary has like fucking 30 people working inside but for us it's like four to five of yeah. us and so it's we're close close <laughs> yeah straight up so like and then <clears throat> the last thing i guess really really what makes or breaks your your dispensary like if you're going to go work in one as a manager and you're you're truly trying to care pick your market pick your location pick your state properly like i'm gonna throw this up here boom omma numbers this is how many dispensaries grows processors labs are in oklahoma there's only 600 and like 80 something dispensaries in the state of california and we fucking doubled that in the state so just let that sink in and think about that before you go and pick a market <clears throat> and do something like that because right now you go outside and oh we're in oklahoma you go outside and we walk to the next block we're gonna pass four dispensaries oh yeah easily they're not great but we no. don't pass them you know what <laughs> no. i'm saying but they're there you know what i'm saying and other people are still gonna go see what they have you know what i'm saying so you got to take that into consideration um but shit, what's your favorite thing about being a manager honestly i really enjoy being able to talk to the customers and just dealing with any 
problems or situations they have, I'm able to help them out any way I can. That's I really enjoy that. Yeah, I think my favorite thing is, like, I worked in the medical field in the military, so when you want to get off work, you got to have what's called quarters, so you got to go to the doctor and do shit like that. Like, I worked in the hospital, so I knew them, and I was still fake sick, so I wouldn't have to go to work and get two three-day quarters. But I have not called in one time since I worked here. You know what I'm saying? I have, I, there, I, there's days where I'd be like, damn, I do not want to go to work today. But once you get here, you can be in the worst mood when you get here. Like, Brittany can walk in. She could be, fuck you, Chris. I yeah. hate this shit. <laughs> there's going to be a patient that comes through the door that's going to flip her It'll whole mood. It'll flip the entire day around. Yeah. Absolutely. Because she'll either be like, oh, this person came in, made me happy. Yeah. Or somebody may come in, and their situation is fucked up. And you'd be like, oh, my shit ain't that oh, bad. Yeah. Dead ass. That, mm -hmm. That's what we say. All different walks of life. It's a great experience. It's humbling because you see all walks of life. But yeah. it's a great experience. I definitely wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I wouldn't go back to doing what I was doing before. I'm in it to win it. So it's dope, man. It's dope. It's just the hardest thing is getting in the door with the right group of people with the right company that's trying to not make a quick buck. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. But... Yeah. Anything else you want to say? No, I'm no? good. Hey, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, Tim. Yes. Hope this answered your question, man. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to it. It'd be crazy, man. It's a lot of <laughs> shit going on. But, man, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's your boy, the tree in the OKC. It's Brittany, make it 10. <laughs> and we out. Peace. Bye. Can't get no more rooted than this. Middle finger to the police and the U if it fit. If it ain't money, we discussing. I can't fool with a bitch. So if you tripping, I ain't tripping, nigga. Listen. Let them know. It's fuck your feelings. Fuck them. For real, it's fuck your feelings. Fuck em. I mean, it's fuck your feelings. Fuck em. It's always fuck your feelings. Fuck your feelings, nigga. Fuck em. For real, it's fuck your feelings. Fuck em. I mean, it's fuck your feelings. Fuck it's always fuck your feelings. Okay, let me take a break from the fiends so I can get a game what it needs. I posted the brother some grenadine. Me and three got this beat in the guillotine. We gon' show him poop.